It's Warren G. I'm gonna give y'all a quick little walk around of my 2017 Kawasaki ZX10R. I'm start at the front. Coming up front, I still have my screen on, but I've taken off the, the flapper. It's the only thing I've did up here. I have, I don't know if you can see that, light tech, mirror block offs. Have a Pug Racing windscreen. Have a Brock strap kit in the front. Shout out to the homie ZX10 males for putting that on for me. I got Pug Racing shorty levers both sides. Uh, I'll get into some of that more later. I could do like a little moto vlog. Um, I do have the stock header. It's not touched. See, none of the bolts have ever been touched on this bike. Completely bone stock. Come up here. I'm lowered an inch and three quarters in the front. I still have the factory steering damper from Olin's. Uh, but what I do have size AJL performance sticker I'll get into that later I have the the race SCU for the Olin steering damper you know it was like 350 bucks or so I opted to try that out before I went to a manual style damper I like it it's staying on uh, I end up going with the Brox damper riser kit but I needed a little bit more so I got some just generic spacers and I put those on also and got some longer bolts to get the steering damper up so you can lower the front. If you look, I just barely have clearance, just enough clearance. Okay. I have vortex rear sets. My bike is set up for GP shift. It is just in the rear sets. I have people asking why am I shifting backwards? no magic it's just where it says flips the, um, the axis point from you know when you push up instead of it being on the top now it's on the bottom so you get a reversed action There's no magic in it i do have stock gearing 1739 uh these are my stock sprockets steel stock 525 chain haven't did any of that i have a brox rear lowering link and I do have a Brock Shorty kickstand. Shout out to Evan from EJR Performance for that. Keep coming around. Got the RS. Don't run a plate, of course. Um, I took off the fender and just left it as is. My tail light is integrated. Uh, it's called the X Blaster from like custom LED or something. Shout out to Mr. 10 R for sending me that link. There's a cam y'all see in some of the footage. Let's have a Superbikes Unlimited rear rotor. I still have all of my brake rotors. I prefer to keep them. My bike is definitely not max effort. I have a SC Project Dirty. It's dirty. Uh, slip on. There's a stock header. As far as lowering the back, yeah, I lowered the back. I tried to even it up just by visually. I think I stuck a, a Coke can up under the front and then I moved it to the back in some random area and lowered the back until it touched the Coke can. And that's how I visually got it to where I think it's even. Um, that's pretty much it on that. I have a Sprint uh, F185 race filter in here and there's my wide band which ran which runs up it's tucked so here it comes back for all my woolage software it's, i've flashed this bike with woolage i've tuned it myself i have the the log box and the the uh the zetronics however you say it box under my seat i run a usb cable up and i plug it up and this is where I 
it's long enough to where I can just lay my, my laptop down and I can go ahead and tune the bike, flash it, whatever I need to do. And I do have a Kawasaki race cow. Coming forward, I have a Vortex gas cap. It's the keyless, flip the switch, unscrew it, whatever. That's pretty much it. Nothing. I did weigh this bike. It weighed 425 pounds with a full tank of gas. I have no weight reduction, as you see. I'm definitely not max effort or anything close to it. It's a fine bike. I will address more of the stuff later as to why we modify these bikes in such ways. You know, people are always saying, why well, take a track bike and set it up to go straight? Why not get a, you know, an older Jixxon 1000 or a Pusa or something for it? But like I said, that's all can be discussed later in some of these future vlogs that I plan on doing. So this is it. I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Y'all look forward to the next video, which should be a vlog. All right.